Ori. Ori takes a hit. Kept in by Bast. Sends it down low. Well, and Body gets in front there by Stevenson. And a little turnover at the red line by Conway. And the clan regain control of the puck. Dylan Stevenson, the assistant captain for Glasgow. Assistant coach, my apologies, not assistant captain. Great play by Goodwin. Goes across the tram. Shot door and a goal. What a chance there. Mark Cooper puts a chance up on the power play. Mark Cooper's second power play goal of the season. And the Giants are on the board. 1-0. Just a great, great pass. Great shot. You know, you, you hit it quick like that on the one time where you get, it, you get it up in the air. If it's on target, it's almost, you know, a huge percentage chance of scoring here. Yeah, great finish. Belfast clear that waiting for the puck to just go over the glass. Cooper round behind Dunbar tries to drive it out front, loses his footing. Grant Cooper now steps out of the corner, tries to drive the front line out, breaks in front, great attempt to rebound again. John Muse coming up big with a couple of big saves. Collide behind that, a chance out front for McLeod and a good save again by Cooper. Cooper with an attempt just wide to the target. Grant Cooper again. With an opportunity, the puck breaks again for Grant Cooper. Good strength from him. Sends it just wide to target McLeod. In on the attack, and Belfast keep control in the clan zone. Little toe drag. Just kept in at the blue line by Donovan Nile. Sent down the wall for Roach. Roach gloves it down, sends it right front. Mc Donovan Niles with a shot now, wide to the target. Just continued pressure, it's out front! And McLeod's on the board! His first goal! For the Belfast Giants, and it's 2 0. 17.51 to go in the second. What a shift that was from the Giants. Really buzzing around their net, the whole shift. And eventually the puck pops the G. Tony on the spot there. Great start to your Giants career. This is really good possession from Belfast. Cooper, Mark Cooper should say, all the way across to Goobin. Goobin, looking for a tip in front, good stick by the clan, cleared to the blue line. Shot in, and it's in the goal, it went all the way through. I don't think it took a tip in front. A big screen there yeah. from Steve Ory, and the Giants get another power play goal, it's 3 0. Pretty sure Coops as well, flash screens the goal, you know, skates in front of the goalie's vision. Basti putting it on net through the crowd, those are dangerous. I think that's been all the way through without a tip. Sends it down the wall for Dixon, Dixon tries to evade Foley, does well to recover, gets it out front, good stick from Long, but it breaks back into the corner again. Carney up the wall, intercepted by Mark Cooper, Mark Cooper, he's got the wheels going against Tegan, it cuts inside, it's going to be a penalty, a chance there, but it's swept off! And the Giants get a goal right on the doorstep. Ben Lake. I told you I'd mention his name again this evening. It's 4 0. Yeah, really strong play here by Coops. He gets hooked and they're going to call a penalty, but he's still got it. He gets it to the front of the net, and Laker is just driving hard. There's a play behind the net. Was it Foley got the puck right from behind the net? Yeah, yeah. Foley ahead to Cooper. Cooper just driving past, taking on, I believe it was. And it, he left him standing, gets it right out front. That's the change of goalie now. And they've had a change of goalie, and in comes Ty Taylor. Belfast, three goals in the space of three minutes and five seconds. Take control of this game. It's now 4 0. And that's a misplay at the blue line by Massey. He gets it down low. Foley ties his man up. In steps Dixon. Chabot to the blue line. Massey sends it on target, but it's blocked in front. There's a chance here. Johnson Jackson whistle doing well, but the puck still breaks free. It's picked up. And David Gubin exits the zone. And there's a chance for a four on two developing here. Gubin goes back to the cross ice. Chopped in front. What a save from Ty Taylor. Steve Horry, Johnny on the spot. And the clan drive forward once again. Chabot. Has the man going to the back door? Chance there, Jackson with a big save. And the end action here in the second period. Back to Rue up. Again. 
Chance for Ericsson. Ericsson sends a goal with blocked in front by Massey. This is how the, the, the second goal was manufactured again. Belfast is just to say that it coughs the puck up, but it was the pressure that literally got it on the the clan and, and that created the goal for McLeod. Yeah. Oh. Chance there at the back door. What a chance and again. The Giants finish it off. A power play goal. What a pass this is by, by Rupper. He's looking across the blue line. And it gives it gives the clan players the eyes here and spots Hookie going in back door. Lewis Hook gets his 12th goal this season. And as you say, Sam Rue up, heads up, just puts the brakes on, right through the slot, on the tape at Lewis Hook. He doesn't actually get all off it, but he gets enough, and he gets it past Ty Taylor. The Giants now lead 5-0. Dunbar clears his own, and again, just smothered. There's just no space at all here for the Glasgow clan. And a little dipsy doodle move there from Mark Cooper. Cooper drives forward. Mark Cooper in the clan zone. Goes for a skate, feeds it out front, what a goal! What a piece of play that was. Puts it on a plate, Mark Cooper does all the hard work. And Lewis Hook a gets nifty, a second of the game. Uh, nifty little pass down here as well by Rapport. Sends Coops away, he's on up the ice and then... You know, he's heads up. Mark Cooper's third point of the night. Feeds Hookie, who's just buried the top cheese. He's just walking right into a slot there. Nobody anywhere near him. Play continues. McLeod just battling. Chip along the wall. He just kept in, and again a turnover. Creates a chance for Grant Cooper. Cooper looking for a chance there. It's in! It's 7-0! Grant Cooper picks his own rebound up. And it's a right. Just a good bit of tenacity here by Grant Cooper. Tries to pass it across the crease. It comes back to him. Does it hit his own body? I heard his own man in front. Here he comes again. Grant Cooper hits, a, hits somebody in front. Donovan Niles, maybe. And he makes no mistake. Yeah. Grant Cooper again doing a great job. And Belfast with a command and 7 0 lead. A six goal second period. The Belfast Giants absolutely dominant. Here comes Conway. And the surprising thing is, Conway hasn't got a goal tonight yet. Gubin back down the wall again for Bomb with a shot. Puck breaks out front just as the whistle goes. Oh, a little bit of afters there. Is that Steve Ory? And Hayden looks like it. This is better from the clan. Massey to the blue line. Just kept inside, but he's given it away. Hook, try my apologies. Gubin sends it ahead. Forehand, backhand. What a finish. What a finish for Steve Ory for his 20th goal this season. Giants yet. Clan no. Yeah, good bit of possession there for the clan, but then they give it away to. You know, the most dangerous line on the ice, really. And uh, always got a breakaway going up the ice, and he's showing us some silky mitts there. That is a lovely finish from Steve R8. As I say, that's his 20th goal of the season. Started off slowly, but he's certainly grown into his position, and he's done really, really well. Again, Belfast just under pressure in the corner this time. It's Ferguson chipping ahead. The clan certainly have come out and put a bit of respect back in this third period. That's going cross ice to McLeod now. McLeod keeps control of the puck. Takes a head along the wall from Kennedy. And as the seconds tick away here, a little bit of a slash there by Ferguson. The Belfast Giants finish the game with an 8-0 victory over the Glasgow clan here at the SSA Arena. That's their third shutout this season against the clan. Jackson Whistle with his own fourth shutout of the year as well. A solid performance.